Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to import data into Airtable without duplicates. So in order to do this, we are going to use the free data fetcher extension with the REST countries API to demonstrate how this works. However, you can use the same method with any other API or integration like our Google Sheets Airtable integration, which you can find on the datafetcher.com website on our blog. So in order to begin, we do want to set up our table. And as you can see, I've already done this by creating a new table with the title countries. And then we're going to go ahead and delete the assignee and status fields from here. And then I've renamed the notes field to code and inputted the following country codes. We have included one duplicate code here in our data to demonstrate how data fetcher can remove duplicate records in Airtable. So now that this table is set up, we're going to add the data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extensions option here. When this pops up, select add an extension. And then as this appears, the will be a search bar in the top right hand corner and we're going to search for data fetcher just like so that will pop up select add select add extension and now you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with google the following screen will load and this is where we import our data so select create your first request and now select custom from that drop down menu under application. Then we're going to retitle our request. So we're going to title this as fetch European countries, just like so. Then for the URL, we are going to want to head over to the blog on datafetcher.com where we have this exact topic. And there's going to be a URL that you can simply copy from here. And it's that restcountries.com URL. We're going to paste this into the URL input box back on our Airtable base. And as you can see that creates these parameters. For the fields, we are importing the name, the two letter country code and the population of European countries. And just so you know, you can learn more about making external API requests in Airtable on that blog that I just mentioned earlier. Now we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And these fields are now being created. So we arrived to the response field mapping page. And this is where you can decide which fields you would like to have imported into your Airtable base. As you can see, 10 fields have been selected here. So we're going to go ahead and select the deselect all button in the right corner. Now we want to turn on the name common field and we want to map this to an existing field. And from that drop down menu, we're going to select name. Then we're going to look for the CCA2 and we're going to scroll all the way to the right for this. Or you can search here in the find field input box. We'll turn the CCA2 on. And again, we're going to map this to the existing field. And from that drop down menu, select code. We'll also turn on the population field and map that to the new field population. And next, we're going to turn on the settings that remove duplicate records in Airtable and learn how they work. So in order to do this, you want to head up to the top left hand corner and you'll see this little arrow next to the search input box. Here, you'll see that this will open your settings sidebar. So select this and select advanced settings. So data fetcher has two right modes for adding data to an Airtable table append as you can see here and also update in a append mode, data fetcher always adds response data to the end of a table without modifying existing records. In update mode, it modifies existing records with the response data and adds or deletes records where necessary. For update mode to run smoothly, we'll use the update based on field setting. This setting allows us to select a field with unique values. So data fetcher can correctly merge the response data with existing records in the table. So we're going to turn this setting on here from the drop down menu, select the code option because the country code is always unique to a country. So it's the perfect field to use to merge the response data with our table data. If you're using a different API, for example, with IDs for each record, you should use that field instead. Now we'll select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, this information is now being imported into our Airtable base. Select show output table and we'll arrive back to our Airtable base with all of that information now being included here. As you can see, that duplicate has not been created for us. So data fetcher has updated the existing records without changing their positions and didn't import data for this duplicate record because update based on fields is turned on. If the setting was turned off, data fetcher would have imported the data into the table from top to bottom, starting with the first record and eventually overwriting the existing data. So in general, you'll need to turn on update based on fields if you don't want your existing data to be written when importing data. So just as a little note here, update based on fields works on your selected output view, not the whole output table. So you need to make sure you choose an output view without 
any Airtable filters, otherwise Data Fetcher won't find the existing records. So now we're going to see how Data Fetcher handles duplicate records next. So Data Fetcher uses the delete records not found in the API response setting to compare the records in the table's output view with those in the response data and remove any records that do not match. So this setting works on duplicate records because Data Fetcher matches only one record in the table to a record in the response data. And just so you know, delete records records not found in the API response also works on your selected output view, not the output table. If you want to use this option on the whole table, you'll need to choose an output view without the Airtable filters. So before we begin, I just want to show you another little bonus tip here. I'm going to add in a country code that is not part of Europe. So we've got Japan in here just to show you how this delete records not found in the API response really works. So we're going to go ahead and open up our extensions again to open that data fetcher extension. And as you can see, this happens automatically. It brings us back to the request that we have already created. We'll open that up and you can see that all of your settings are already in here. Now we're going to scroll down to the advanced settings option. And under this update tab, we're going to turn on this option, delete output table records not found in the API response. And then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Super simple. Again, select show output table and close this little window over to the right hand side. And as you can see, Data Fetcher deleted the duplicate record and the record JP, which it didn't find in the response. So hopefully today you have learned how to import data into Airtable without duplicates. But like I mentioned before, we do have this full length blog on this exact topic if you prefer to learn that way. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.